Queen Elizabeth II injured her back prior to the official opening of Arsenal's multi-million pound Emirates Stadium in 2006, which resulted in Her Majesty cancelling the proposed royal visit at the last minute and Prince Philip taking over the reins. Since childhood, Queen Elizabeth II has been at the helm of grand openings in Britain, as it is part of royal life. In October 2006, Arsenal Football Club moved from their beloved Highbury to the all-new Emirates Stadium in North London, amid much excitement. The Queen had been scheduled to meet Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger and captain Thierry Henry on a tour of the new stadium and club director Ken Fryer had been planning the official visit for over a year. BBC documentary Monarchy, The Royal Family at Work shows the excitement among the staff members and football fans as they eagerly awaited Her Majesty's arrival. Mr. Fryer had prematurely said, I think the only thing we've not covered is the Queen changing her mind and not turning up. The 2007 documentary reveals the disappointing reaction after Mr. Fryer received that all-important phone call from Buckingham Palace informing him that the Queen would not be attending the grand opening because Her Majesty has injured her back. At the time of the documentary, Buckingham Palace had recorded just five occasions in 20 years when the Queen has cancelled at the last minute. A Buckingham Palace statement said at the time, There is no cause for concern for the monarch who has just returned from a three-country trip to the Baltic states. The Queen had sustained a back injury while staying at her Balmoral country residence. It has not improved during a busy two weeks of engagements. Doctors advised Her Majesty to reduce her workload today and will review her progress on a daily basis. Prince Philip later officially opened the pound 390 million, 60,432 capacity stadium, where he was introduced to the Arsenal squad. Prior to life at the Emirates, Arsenal had played at Highbury since 1913. The club was formed by workers at the Royal Arsenal in 1886 and, after initially using the name Dial Square, they were known as Royal Arsenal from 1886 to 1891 before this was shortened to Arsenal.